Understanding Exposure to Disease, a Guide for English Learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we make English language learning easy and fun for you. Today, we're diving into a very topical and important phrase, exposure to disease. Understanding this phrase is not only crucial for your language learning journey but also for your overall well-being, especially in times of global health concerns. So, let's explore what it means, how to use it, and why it's important. Exposure to disease refers to the condition of being in contact with a disease-causing agent, such as a virus or bacteria, in a way that provides an opportunity for that disease to be transmitted to you. This phrase is commonly used in medical, healthcare, and daily life conversations, especially when discussing preventive measures during epidemics or pandemics. The key components of this phrase are exposure, coming into contact with something, disease, a particular abnormal condition that negatively affects the structure or function of all or part of an organism. Exposure to disease can occur in several ways, including 1. Direct contact. Touching an infected person, including handshakes, hugs, or other forms of physical interaction. 2. Indirect contact. Touching surfaces or objects that have been contaminated by an infected person, like door handles or mobile phones. 3. Droplet transmission. Being close to someone who coughs or sneezes, spreading disease through respiratory droplets. 4. Airborne transmission. Breathing in particles containing the virus or bacteria, which can be suspended in the air over long distances and times. 5. Vector-borne transmission. Being bitten by insects like mosquitoes or ticks that carry the disease from one host to another. Understanding these modes of transmission can help in taking preventive actions to reduce the risk of becoming sick. Knowing about exposure to disease and how it happens is crucial for several reasons. Prevention. Being aware of how diseases spread can help you take steps to protect yourself and others. Public health. It aids in understanding public health advisories and why certain measures, like wearing masks or social distancing, are recommended during disease outbreaks. Responsibility. It encourages responsible behavior, such as staying home when sick and practicing good hygiene, to prevent spreading illnesses to others. We hope this video has shed some light on the meaning and significance of exposure to disease. Understanding such phrases not only enriches your English vocabulary but also equips you with knowledge that is vital for navigating health-related discussions and situations. Stay informed, stay safe, and keep learning. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more helpful content. See you in the next video.